Well, hey the Paxson pals and gals, it's the old pal Paxson here. Welcome back to another encouragement video. Hope you guys are having a great day. Whatever you guys are doing, whether you're walking, not walking, hope you guys are having a fantastic day and can be blessed by this video. Today, the topic that we're going to be talking about is what temptation looks like. I feel like all of us are very curious. What is temptation? We all have our own theories of it, but what is it? What is it really? Temptation is when we are pulled in a different direction, when we are tempted to do the wrong thing. And we like say, and sometimes we still give in to that wrong thing and still do it, and we like say, oh, that's not that bad. God will forgive me. Friends, temptation is sin in the outrun. Run. When we are tempted, that is sin. Well, that is not sin. It's sin if we give in to that temptation. It's not sin being tempted. It's sin when we give in to it. Friends, guess what? I got some very encouraging news. Jesus Christ was tempted in every way that we have been. With the lust, with our fleshly desires, with um, swearing, with everything. But guess what? The encouraging news is he did not sin. Even though he was tempted, He's tempted, he was tempted so he can relate to us, then, but he did not sin because he is God and he is above it all. And thanks be to God that he did not sin. Because if he, did not, if he did sin, we wouldn't have the rest of the story. But he did not sin. And he went to the cross to pay for our sins because we were tempted, but we sinned. But he was tempted, but just did not sin. Praise be to God for that amazing gift. I picked two verses today instead. Actually, no. Sorry. <laughs> Alright, no. I, two verses. Sorry. I'm going to get the math straight. I'm bad at math. <laughs> um, two verses today instead of four. Because one verse is pretty long. Um, I mean, not too long, but... The first verse comes from James 1, 13 through 18. When tempted, no one should say, God is tempting me. For God cannot be tempted by evil, nor does he tempt anyone. Verse 14. But each person is tempted when they are dragged away by their own evil desire and enticed. Verse 15. Then after desire has conceived, it gives birth to sin, and sin, when it is full grown, gives birth to death. Verse 16. Don't be deceived, my dear brothers and sisters. Verse 17. Every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of the heavenly, heavenly light, and who does not change like shifting shadows. Verse 18. He chose to give us birth through the word of truth, that we might, that we might be a kind of first fruits of all he created. Friend, that's just an amazing verse. How it points us that God doesn't tempt us. Even when we think he might. He does not. He doesn't because he did not sin. If he did sin then he might be able to tempt us. But he did not sin. And the question he cannot tempt us. It's so true we just have to lean into that truth and believe it fully. And he chose to give us birth through the word. Through the scripture, the Holy Bible, he chose to give us birth so we can have life in him, life to the fullest. First fruits of all he created, which is truth. Praise be to God that he is with us, even though we still sin and still screw up. He still accepts us. Accepts us. Praise be to him. The second verse com comes from Luke 22, verse 40. On reaching the place, he said to them, Pray that you will not fall into temptation. Friends, we're going to close there with that last scripture that I just read. That's my prayer for all of you. That we would pray to God. Just like when we talked about pray praying a couple weeks ago in the video. See, 
all these topics that I've been talking about the past couple weeks, they all have a connection. It's important that we pray to God to help us, even though we will still sin a num number of times until, until the day that we die, but God still encourages, encourages us and gives us grace and encourages us to pray that we will not be f that we will not fall into temptation. It's so easy to fall into temptation, friends. It's so easy. But God encourages us to pray because if we ask anything in His name, He'll give us the strength to do it. And why not? He'll give us the strength. Sometimes we'll still want to wander off to our own desires, but He'll help us out. So I encourage you, whatever temptation you're facing, pray, bring it to Him. Pray to Him for help to not fall into it. I know sometimes it will be hard and you will still fall into it, including myself. But I encourage you, that's my prayer for you, that you will bring, realize what your temptation is, it's dragging you down, and that you will confess it. Even confess it. Confess it to me. Confess it to your pastor, your small group leader. Whoever you need to. Amen? Or your friend, even. Friends, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys were encouraged by this, I encourage you to share it with someone else that needs to hear it. Because we need to be encouraged, friends. The day is approaching. We don't know when, but it's approaching. And we need to be encouraged until that day gets here. Friends, keep Christ number one. And I'll see you guys again soon. Peace.